Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Forming Portugal Let's Play here in Crusader Kings 3. And as we continue with our expansion, uh, we took a quite bit of land last episode. We'll continue to push. We have a uh, truth currently with both of these neighbors. I believe this one expires in 914 and this one expires in 915. So two years, three years. We're at the twilight of our rule. We're 65. Death is potentially on the table. We're relatively healthy. We're doing pretty much everything we can. We're athletic. We have an aged cheese with us. We have medicine focus for a few more years, I believe. Oh, many more years. 921. And we also have exotic food, countering the penalty from Drunkard. So, all's well. Uh, we really do want to live for as long as we can, because we want to pick up our uh, limited crown authority so we can revoke some titles. Estimate right now is five years, give or take. So hopefully we'll make it there. Hit 70 and then start revoking at least this county here to get full control of Galicia. And then we also revoke this one, potentially this one, but we would need to get a claim on it uh, before that. So those are a couple things we're doing. The war that we'll be fighting uh, to expand our domain limit, which currently is still not maxed out, is this one here, because surprisingly, I still have not figured out the rules of Struggle Clash, as in how they will be uh, direct control and how they will be vassal control. Uh, but it seems like we'll be able to gain... Not this one, but this one, under our direct control. And this won't be a vassal. That's okay. Uh, I think someone did try to explain to me in the comment where the games try to maximize how many vassals you have. So like, for example, we have him as a vassal after taking it. So like, we wouldn't get another one. Uh, but I didn't follow that exactly super well. Uh, it does not matter. We'll be pushing for these expansions. We'll try to take this entire uh, duchy under our control. We'll try to grab the Rock of Gibraltar, uh, which will give us... Decent bonus. Diplomatic range increase, storeship increase, local growth. Um, hills hills fit us. And then while looking through the war options, since we are currently signing truth, there's a very interesting one here. All the way across, Valencia has a very young ruler who has just come of reign, who is not very healthy. And is very, very weak. Very, very weak. And there is no major alliances. He has an ally with one of his vassals. He has no marriages. He has two concurrent wars. And we can come in here and try to vassalize him. He has too many holds. I also have someone else in my court. Who has a claim but only on one of the counties. So that's a bit weak. Even though this says we cannot... We cannot get the whole thing. I'm actually curious if this is possible or not. We can also gain the direct holding here through a very, very easy fight. And this might be the one we actually go for. Because I'm interested in expanding my domain to the max. This one's being contested by another ward, isn't it? So I'm curious how they would do the calculation as to who gets what. Anyhow, I think we fight them. I think that's a pretty good option here. So we'll take the clash for the full control here. Malagon, because we want to expand towards this. Cordoba is over here. We need to grab this as part of our uh, end the struggle. So let's declare this war. He is very easy to kill. We're going to shift this rally point away. Yes, to here. And we're going to summon everyone and have them go take this, I guess. 33 loot as well, so that's pretty good. Now, aside from this war um, that we will be fighting in the background, because I think it's going to be pretty easy, 
What are they contesting? They're contesting this whole piece here. Oh, it's uprising. Oh, that's even that's not something we have to worry about. What about this one? So this piece. So this is not something that we have to worry about as well. But this is the faction that we have to eventually destroy. We're trying to get a border with them, which is why this war is important. Which is also why this war is also interesting, because that's another way we can get a border with them. But we have a truth right now, so we can't do much there. Um, there's a couple more things that's going on here. We do have someone taking care of our artifact, so I could reforge this. And since we've been holding on to it for quite a long time, the reforge cost is quite cheap. And I'm not, I don't want to repair. I want to reforge. Am I not allowed to reforge? Uh, why can't I? He's here. But I can't reforge. Should I be able to switch this to two gold for the reforge? Then I get a court artifact instead of a personal one. Okay, if that's the only option, then no. No rush. Low control here. Well, it's okay. We're focused over here and also kind of want to give this away to our son, but we are ambitious, so giving land away will cause stress. Not sure if I'm down for that part just yet. We have a couple interesting marriages options that we have um, that I was looking at. Our son's not going to get married because I want him to eventually die without kid. Uh, sad life for him. But we also have our nephew who we landed down here. We landed him because he had the intelligent trait. And we married him to someone with the intelligent trait plus the calmly trait. And he did not disappoint. He has two daughters right now. Genius and genius. So two really good daughters from our nephew. And I was thinking we can use the oldest one here to arrange a marriage with our grandson. Not through the marriage with Frankia, but through the marriage with King. Oh, never mind. It is with Frankia, but this is the bastard son. She cheated on him. Uh, which he knows, they all know. Um, but this is a son that we have who is a bastard of a different house, and if we're able to get this marriage between them, he's old now, but he can wait a few years. And we can basically make it matrilineal, bring him back to the house. Our house. And they have a shot at good traits. I think it's a win-win. And obviously there's an inbreeding risk, but I think I think it's one that we can accept. Or else he's just going to be lost over there. All right, he's going to have he's going to he's going to be useless. There's no way we can force them to actually legitimize him. So I think this is not a not a bad outcome. All right, so that is done. What happened to our kid over here? We haven't looked over here for a while. So Alfred's dead, 63. We outlived him. As great as he is, we outlived him. And that's his... No, we married his grandson. Oh, it's going to take some looking around, so... There we go. So we found him. He is looking handsome. 20 years old. Is he imprisoned? Why is he dressed so weirdly? Huh.
Right. So even though he's the eldest son, they have a voting set up. And it looks like our grandson, who's ugly, is not going to be in line to inherit the whole thing. But that's okay. One's ugly, one's delicate. What's going on here? Feels like just bad luck. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so that family is not turning out alright. Our grandson, the one that we want to eventually become the player character in the future. We set him up with this marriage for a potential trait into the family. He's doing okay. He's missing one more trait. Uh, we'll see if we need to use stress to fix that. Everything else is going great. We just proceed with our war. And we'll be good. Yep. Are we going to be crossing rivers? I don't think so. Alright, to war. It's still gathering, but I think... I think we can start moving. Oh, actually we finished. Are there still more? We can still get more? About a hundred more? Whoa. Whoa. What's going on? We've got two events in the background. Late at night, I hear strange sound coming from a room down the hall. Upon peeking around the door, I can see my courtier naked, bounded, and being beaten with a wooden rod by a servant who appeared to be dressed in some my old clothes. As though that weren't strange enough, she seemed to be loving it. Between hits, she shouts, yes, punish me, king. Okay. Our physician's wife. So yeah, we'll pick up the secret, I guess. She has no money. Strange. Anyways. Okay, barony level vassal. Ah, the crown that we're making. Interesting, he's gonna help. Pace 15, slightly higher quality. Keep the money. Now, improve the crown. Kind of worried that it turns out to be really bad. But um, maybe it won't be. It's getting closer to being finished. All right, we're in full force. Yeah, there'll be attrition. I think the supply limit's gonna get us a little, but we should be fine. Building wise, we are investing a bit here, which is good. This is maxed out. So I guess time to upgrade these. Supply limit. That's not bad. We'll start with the money one and then go with the unit one afterwards. We should beat them. Question is, can we catch them? Alright, we hit. Are we the best court now? There's a there's a chance of that. We were second. Ooh, new inspiration. He skills is legendary. He's a hunchback. See, this is money we're interested in spending. 145 to write about medicine. All right, nice. Right, this is probably not worth it. We've gone with the purple look. We're still second. Byzantine still first. Uh, we can't get to rank 9, unfortunately. I think that's going to be quite difficult. 
Maybe if we add a few more artifacts. We're trying. All right, there we go. Should be a very, very straightforward victory. We killed one of their knights as well. Nice and easy. Now we move on to siege. He, there's so many wars here. He's in three wars, so I actually don't know who I'm fighting. He does not have allies, so... I think we just focus on our objective and then go siege down his capital, which is over here, I think. And then we'll end this war, basically. Wait, the crown's ready? That's so quick. Visigoth crown, headgear, prestige 0.14, opinion increased by two. And doesn't, I mean, is there a quality rank or just the color background? I mean, it's fine craftsman. Crown's forged from silver. Okay, fine is the quality then. I mean, thank you. We'll wear it. I mean, I guess we are missing a ring, but I don't know if we have the money for it right now. Okay, so he lost a few wars. So he lost that chunk. He still controls this that I'm trying to get from him, so that's still good. That's the only thing we have to concern about, whether we still are getting the right piece of land from him. This siege should be fairly easy. Did any of them get richer? I'll take it. And we seize the Umayyad House Banner. They have fallen a long way. We have an open banner slot. What is the requirement, though? Ah, we have to be their house. Uh, makes sense. But we can display it just for court grandeur. It's a prize capture. I think we do have the option of fixing it up, though. It's not very... The durability is very, very low. It's not in my personal inventory. It says or, but like, do I have to not carry it? Hmm, a little bit confused about that. See, this old ledger is no longer actually helping us. We're not doing life. We're not doing storage of lifestyle. We have an open slot where we don't really need things. We can go fight their army here.
There's a lot of people who has a claim on this. They could come after us for it. I will repair this, actually. Alright, continue with the war. I don't know who's leading their army. Is he in there? No, he's not at night. He's running away. We're going straight for the capital then. It'll be a long march. Attrition possibilities. But that army is so small, they cannot... Well, they could retake it. The garrison's very... The levy's very low here. For most of our settlements, he, they can't take it. Alright, this has to wait, because I'm going to get a point here first. Better treatment from our physician. And we're also going to wash our hands going forward. Carefree's not terrible either. Alright, he's trying to write a book for us. And she just helped us make a crown, but she's going to offer to help. Slightly higher quality. Hmm. If we're talking about a diplomatic challenge, even then it's not great, right? Most of the chance we are going to get a rivalry set up. And if we're talking about a learning one, also not great. I guess we can just be friends with him. He seems like a valuable character who can potentially be a future physician. Whereas... I don't know what use I have of her, but a rivalry against a schemer... Oh no, just these two. They could try to kill each other. Maybe... Hmm... This is the rivalry with him. I, I don't think I have to be scared of a rivalry with him. Alright, we're going to try the diplomacy challenge then. There's not that much downside. 45-55. It failed, but I think it's worth a shot. The long march. Someone's ready there. We have to beat someone up to siege it. It's okay, we'll do it. Ah, he wants to honor the book to someone. Our lover. I actually think I want more piety. There is the option of setting up a holy water uh, under... I mean, we have a holy site, so a holy water wouldn't be terrible. We would need a lot of piety for that. And money. We're just a force to be reckoned with here. Oh? Our food taster. We married her to a handsome knight, and the- Wow. So, not only did her intelligence pass on, handsome also passed on. Hmm. We have too many of the same names in the family. Okay, I don't know about Vithagoth. Sons, Joshua. Maybe we could do Sons. We could just keep the one that she had. Really no reason to change it. Uh, 
Another grandkid with potential. We're going to educate him as well. All right, this should be quick. Yep, I'm married. Look at that hat. Did your father die? Oh, she just took over. She's our new vassal. A duchy. Our niece. Uh, I believe her mother, our sister, is still alive. Yes. Okay. And <laughs> this will be quite the marriage. We don't need this. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with her holding it. Like, if anything... I think this is okay. She can marry whomever she wishes. I don't think it affects us anyways. This was never in our house to begin with. Hmm. Another decent choice. Are you sure you don't need a doctor? And the construction's going pretty well and fast. What else is new? She got money. Okay, keep getting money and we'll talk afterwards. Hopefully we capture the boy and end this war here. He's having a clock. Wait, 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 wait. Who are you? You're attacking this way. Our son's attacking this way. Oh, someone who's allied to our daughter-in-law. It's a shared alliance. No, no, no. It's an internal fight. Wait, he's fighting his own... Because he's landed. Ah. He's spending prestige to help. We're going to help. Sure thing, my son. Because this is our son's landed county under the queen. We'll be right there. He might lose before we get there. There's that possibility. But we got to finish our war first. Highest quality. So he's he wants more money. So we can have a shot at getting a cheaper price, but if we fail, then we have to also pay a bit of prestige. I'll take the gamble. We're a gambling man. Diplomacy challenge? 50-50. All right, this one we won. We got only 50 payment to get the higher quality. The war is not over. Courtier and half sister. Half sister. Courtier is a comely girl who is betrothed to. the son. of a vassal here, one of his vassal's sons. Now this, this house, 
Could be interesting. He's married. Oh, they're the same house. That's his sister. That's just a courtier. Hmm. It might be interesting to keep someone from the Umayyad. I do not think she's going to be part of the war score calculation. She might be, because she's related to him. Oh no, not even the case. He escaped capture, even though he's here. We're just going to hold this for enough time to win, and then we're going to do this long march back to help our boy out. Uh, so the other girl. Is your brother your brother's willing to pay for you? Twenty five. Yeah, I'm not interested in breaking her marriage just because she has calmly. I'll take the money. Ooh, did not hesitate in the slightest to bring it down. Ambitious as well. I think ambitious is fine. Good for stats, terrible for stress. And just like your grandpapa. Alright, so we have her. Hmm, what do we do with her? That is a good question. She has no claims, she just has the house. And there's also this very old husband. Who we could kill, quite difficult, and also doesn't yield us much. I'm just going to hold on to her. Maybe watch, wait till he dies natural causes. There's no rush there. Our truth with them is not over yet. That is fine. We'll let this one resolve itself. We're going to help our son out. And then we'll go back to our own war. Oh, he's trying to recapture it. Buddy, good effort. So we have upgraded our court trait, two points of stewardship, two points of point two points of control growth. Are we done with the book? A famed book. It is a gothic medical manuscript. Plus one learning, medium health boost. That is perfect for us. Good for 133 years. I am very impressed. And that's gonna keep me alive. We have that open trinket slot. Huh? Is the book not here? Wait, is it a court one? Ah, uh, I have to. Wait, I guess if I do display it, it does give me the boost. No? It should. I'm the current holder. It's a court artifact. Excellent. Our grandeur creeps closer and closer to nigh. Maybe it is possible if we get enough things in there. Maybe it's time to commission the ring. Even though it's not great. Boxes, sculpture, thrones. Oh what, do, oh, what do we want? We can make a chest, a statue, or a throne. 
He's not that talented. Maybe just a statue. Or maybe just a chest. Something simple. It's for the court. Yeah, let's just do a chest. Throne needs to be a masterpiece. We need to wait till we get some better offers. Alright, finish this war here and... That looks like a fair fight. How much do we need for a holy water? A thousand piety. Wow. That is pricey. We have hooks expiring soon. Ah, our captured girl who we are going to marry our grandson. I don't think I have any use for you. Is there a reason to kill him? I don't think so. He's our grandson. He's set up to be the next king of West Francia. They landed him. Good. Anyways. Gotta stop this siege. Ah, she's here to pay homage. Which is nice. Her dad just died, so... We gained some court grandeur as well. Fame is actually why homage is so good for us. Alright, let's quickly end this battle. It's not even fair. Can we... Oh, another? Another Viking invasion? He's, he's asking to fight against him. I mean, what he really means is his chance. I guess they had some sort of settlement after losing Flanders. Yeah, we'll accept. We will not be going. All right, quick and easy. Wipe them out. This war is over. They both have money. Not that useful. We'll just ask for that payment later. You still want to rot in here? Alright, we'll release him. He has high learning. Maybe he'll be useful for us. Yeah, we should still be getting paid. All right, we gain control of this. Uh, by control, we mean zero control, but we have it under our holding directly. Good buildings across the board. Yeah, I think we wouldn't change any of them. We just need to get the control back up. This control is doing pretty well. Work on that. Uh, religion's also a problem, but so is it here, so. Wait, did we not change it? There we go. Alright, finish another building here. Keep pushing it. To war. So now with this under our control, we have the border with them. 
that we can use to oh well, well we're currently have army being raised but basically we can grab any of these or just this one actually being a neighbor of so i think the next step since it is 914 is we grab this control right here and then we'll vassalize that and then we'll come over here and take this cordoba He's not strong enough to stop me. Ooh, they beefed up. My poor son. Our sister, who lost her husband, drank herself to death, giving us a bit of threat, uh, stress. Did he lose a limb? At old, he looks like he's missing an arm. She ended up drinking herself to death. I mean, the daughter's taking control now. She still has not married. Hmm. I mean, this is the tempting proposition. We're probably going to play as him for a few years. The trick is not to allow them to have kids, which I have no say over once they have the marriage. So I'm really not sure if this is the right move. But the fact that she is single... does make things quite tempting. Who's the who's the claim after her death? That's what I'm curious. Ah, uh, maybe it's better that they just hold on to it. The other claims don't look so promising either. Oh, we capture more banners. This one gives four points of core grandeur. Even better than the Umayyad. All right, so we're bringing this down and we're going to add this instead because it's four points. It's a large wall ornament. Cute emblem. I still don't know how I got that one, though. Right, we just released him with the hook to get paid. That was part of the plan. Yep, couldn't get anything from him. Alright, we're done raising him soon. I don't think there's any more events with him. She's ready to be married off. And then we have another... that we're raising who will start causing us problems, but... should be worthwhile. All right, boy, we're here. Dad's gonna take care of your problems. Oh, I actually don't think Holy Warrior is gonna... Oh, no, Holy Warrior still kicks in. All right, so... Our Antiquarians here... Arguing with him. And he's actually going to improve the chance.
No, we're not replacing him. 28 learning versus 1 learning? We're gonna side with our Antichorian. And it improved it, so it worked. Uh, my son, shouldn't you be joining the fight? Instead of running the other way when we're clearly gonna win this one. And we have increased our level of fame. I think it's the prestige one. We're now exalted among men. Number of knight goes up again. And secular opinion goes up as well. We'll siege this for the win. Auto filled the remaining slots. That went really well. Always good. Now he joins. Should be a fairly fast siege. Yeah, we're not going to be extending these. We'll let them expire. We can buy up new ones when we need them. Hopefully we're not going to need them. Ah, dedication. This one is a chest. We've been neglecting our queen, but I mean, it's fine. She's she's going to be okay with it. Ooh, we can gain renown. 250 piety. Oh, I still think renown's more valuable. We have kings and queens. But that's not the key. The key is our legacy tree. I want another 184 points. And we can continue down this line. Even though 250 piety was quite attractive. Look at that finished. We're going to give it the full build out. Give us the land. We can do a great job here. God, let us. Oh, who's doing development, by the way? Eight points. Okay, that's still decent. All right, we'll just finish our son's war here real quick. Given that this is only a count that we're fighting. Pretty sure we should win right after. Four hundred for the siege. What did they build here? We definitely can resume this war, but we gotta finish this one first, and then we're gonna disband everyone. Then recall that one. Quick war here. Quick war here. Looks like. I mean, when we go back to war with them. Um, Oh, we can't even look right now, but this is just Madrid, right? Alright. Another fight. Oh, our son's leading it. He has quite high of a commanding skill. Easy win. Easy siege. Visigothic fame furniture. He did a good job. I mean, our our Antichorian pulley contributed piety increase renown increase core grandeur increase that is good put that chest out there and our grandeur is above 90 now oh wow way above 90 uh baseline is 84 Level 9 is at 80. We're going to hit level 9 very soon. Monthly Renown increased by 5%. Imprisonment chance increase. This is a really nice one. we got to get over 90 points. We need 6 more points. It's possible. Definitely possible. Oh.
So I'm definitely siding with our daughter-in-law here who is gunning to live a long time. Looking at these traits here. Whatever it takes to make this well again. We spend some money. We spend some prestige. Both of them will stay happy with us, but she's going to be mad at the girl. Are they rivals now? Oh, yes, they are. Our niece and our daughter-in-law. Yeah, that relationship can be rough. We'll pay it off. Be the good dad. Speaking of good dad, let's help them win this war. Good dad slash uncle. Actually, it's father-in-law slash uncle. And we're just seizing stuff. Find book about books. Wow, what a name. Learning lifestyle. This is something we need. That's a good take. We caught his wife as well. Have no interest in her. Perhaps we can get some money from her. There we go. And we're just going to wait till our son... Let's de-stress real quick. Friendship with our Count, who is going to rebel against us. That's the weird part. The mayor. Oh, our Duke. Our smart Duke. And giving him a chance to gain athletic, he picked it up. Awesome, our nephew. That is good for him. And also good for us, I guess. This war's over. I'm disbanding. He can claim that victory himself. I don't think I need to be the one pressing it. Yeah, he has to be the one who... There we go. We contribute 100 point, 100%. We get some prestige there. Alright. Um, with that, I think we'll end our episode here. Our dear Cyanlaw is still dealing with Flanders. It looks like he's doing a good job. I'm not going to go help him. We'll be fighting this war next. We've been waiting for this. Wait, is the truce still on? No way. Wait, 915. Oh, there's this war then. My bad. It's our take of Madrid then. I can gain both of these. We could do it that way. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to give this to our son. So we could take two new ones. Yeah, I guess that's the way things will be. We'll be continuing our expansion next time. We'll grab both of these pieces, and if we're looking at future duchy titles, we'll probably be able to usurp this whenever we want. And we're probably going to have to grant that to someone. I don't want to keep this piece. I want to keep this piece if we get a chance. And um, yeah, we're we'll just continue to creep forward. We'll also go to war for these two pieces in the future. We're probably going to end up giving Sylves over to our nephew. He's doing quite well. This is a very lucrative location, but um, I think he can have it. I think it gets like three gold, 3.17, that's pretty good. Uh, but it's not like we're missing money and we'll still maintain a pretty good funding as we expand out. So we'll just trade some locations for others. Can't wait to pick up these two. And if we're looking at that two years away, just two years, we're actually going faster than the pace expected. It was going to be like when we hit 70. Now we're maybe gonna get it at 69. And our health is still, ooh, we're starting to ail. Old age, old age is kicking in. Please let us live for two more years. That would be key. If we can live for two more years, start invoking some of these titles, it should all work out. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and see you all next time. Bye.